Long time no see guys and we have the announcement of a new upcoming selection pack record of Noble Spirits and as uh, it seems to be the case this is some sort of additional pack so bonus pack that also makes sense because in terms of release cycles the next real selection pack should not be up for another I think like 15 days because we just recently have gotten uh, the new Kashira pack so it's always around the 8th or 9th or 10th of the month so it's now the 24th off, so you can imagine that it should take a little bit longer but as you can see right here and there is the new card the prisoner princess of fruitful flames with an animation um, on the 30th of october we will get this new pack and this will have the card prisoner princess of fruitful flames in it which funnily enough is an ocg exclusive and there is some really interesting hint uh, potentially pointing to some cards we will get in this next pack but more to that in a moment so Let's just first read the girl. Prisoner Princess of Fruitful Flames, Link 3, Fire Fiend, Link Effect Monster, uh, 2 7 attack, Link Arrows, not that important, 2 plus effect monsters. You cannot special summon monsters except fire monsters. You can only use each of the following effects of Prisoner's Princess of Fruitful Flames once per turn. During your main phase, you can uh, special summon one fire monster from your graveyard, which this is quite nice, though this is a Link 3, so huh, I don't know, it's quite expensive. Um, if a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field while this card is in your graveyard, you can target one fire monster you control and one monster your opponent controls destroy them and if you do a special summon the discard so this obviously is not an unnice card not a, not a bad card for the rescue ace uh, um, deck theme which will uh, get uh, amazing support in the future a little hint here we can see we just recently had the ycs indianapolis and the top deck lists were rescue ace here in first place rescue ace here in second place then we had something else here in the third and fourth we had poorly and then in the fifth uh, once again or in sixth rescue s i think there were a lot of res rescue s decks so running around we will talk about this in in another video the ycs indianapolis uh, breakdown but you can see a lot of rescue s decks and this is mainly because of the new sinful spoils package that has just released in the tcg and is also the package that is played over in the ocg so you can say that rescue s right now in the ocg and the tcg is the strongest deck you could argue but um, this is not a bad card for Rescue Ace and then we also have uh, some additional cards that were leaked from Decay to be in this pack here. Um, we have, I, I think they all belong together, Soul Far Court Symphony, so uh, obviously Virtual World Tiger Fufu is something else, but um, Grand Soul Far Court, so I can tell you that none of these cards ever really made an impact, uh, neither in the OCG or TCG. Once again, have Libromancer support stuff, but Libromancer never really came up in either the TCG or the OCG, so as of right now it seems that the deck will not contain a very interesting cards um, this is a trend in master duel given the fact that in the big selection packs the main selection packs we um, most often have gotten the most impactful cards and then there were sometimes little packs like this um, yeah, that gave us some additional stuff but um, these little in-between packs these bonus packs never really had really amazing or important cards in them but and this is what i wanted to talk about and hinted about in uh, in the beginning of the video and also in the thumbnail and the title i guess is what could potentially come in this pack because the pack is called a record of noble spirits and uh, we can quickly take a look at one of the, the archetypes that we will get new support for in the future um so you can see we have the info noble cards and if a noble will get new support cards in the princess angelica the turpin the emperor charles the great and then uh, the ricard detto is also new uh, in for noble arms almace and noble arms museum these are the important cards that will make this deck a really strong one this also fits in with the fact that we will get this bonus card that has just recently released in the ocg and this is a fire themed card and obviously the infernoble cards are also fire themed so that that would make a lot of sense also because the name of the pack is um oh, let's say i have to i have to let me just uh, duplicate this so i can read it to you the name of the pack is upcoming pack record of noble spirits noble spirits and for noble light and we also recently have gotten uh where is the pack uh point top decks guys tournament top cards tier list secret packs we have recently gotten i'm not quite sure how we can filter for this but 
Um, we have gotten the new pack, I think. Which one was it? It was the Noble Knights of Crimson Flowers, right? So this one we recently have gotten. And um, I mean, the cool thing was that we got a tuning here and also a Baron. And there were also a lot of Infernoble support cards in here. And a lot of people were like, okay, maybe we will get the new Infernoble cards in the new secret pack. Was not the case. But um, there is a trend to be seen here because we recently have gotten the new Scareclaw secret pack. And then a pack after that, the rest of the Scareclaw support cards came. That also made a sense because those were cards from Photon Hypernova, the main set, which we have now finished in Master Duel. So it also made sense that we would get the rest of the Scareclaw card. It does not make that much sense that we will get the Infernoble cards right now because in terms of release cycle, the Infernoble cards are definitely not yet up for being released. But you never know. Sometimes Konami just does this. We also had this with, um, what was it? I think we have gotten the Labyrinth and the Runic stuff pretty early and other stuff as well where we have gotten the new uh, Sky Striker card. I think uh, that, was, uh, that was also not to be released for some time but we then just got it in master duel um, so this is something that they definitely do to like uh, bring old decks to new power by giving them the support that they will get in the future for some reason i can't click on this right now but yeah this could be the content of the upcoming selection pack record of noble spirits obviously i will keep you updated and if this fits my time schedule and there will be some interesting stuff in here then we will also do probably a live stream uh, let's just hope that this time it works better than the last time obviously if there are only uninteresting cards in here i won't do a live stream for that but if the infernoble car, uh, night cards come then i might do a live stream because i'm definitely interested in the deck and i still have yet to learn the combos even though this is a deck that is actually played in the tcg right now so we might see this we might not uh, let's see i will keep you updated we will talk about this let me know in the comments what you think of this news do you like it that we get this bonus pack here what do you think of the cards that have been uh, leaked or also confirmed. And what do you think of Infernoble Knights in general? Are you hyped for the archetype or for the new support for the archetype? I should better say because the archetype is already in the game. Let me know guys. Also, if you like these kinds of videos, please consider subscribing, hitting the thumbs up and the notification bell. This helps me out a lot and we will see each other in the next one.